Shawn Michaels somehow isn't wearing an entire suit of armor before coming out to cut a promo on Montreal. Although I do have my suspicions that he's wearing a bulletproof vest underneath that suit he's got on. Who's your daddy, Montreal? If there's anything Shawn Michaels knows how to do, it's to get the fans even more riled up and pissed off than they already were. Freaking legend right there. I get that the fans in Montreal are still pissed off about what happened eight years ago at Survivor Series, but come on. Chanting, you screwed Brett, isn't going to help anything because there's literally nothing that can ever be done to change the past. It's unfortunate that people can't let go of the past. All of you have been so respectful to me. Sarcasm. Sean Michaels, you would be great at this job. Oh, Sean Michaels, but you're not better than me. I'm gonna kick Hulk Hogan right in the face. It was likely because of his parody of Canada's national anthem that Vince McMahon decided to have Hulk Hogan beat Shawn Michaels at SummerSlam that following Sunday. Might explain the overselling. A majority of this segment is Shawn Michaels listening to the crowd going ballistic, which, don't get me wrong, is entertaining. Problem is, it goes on for too long. I guarantee... You guarantee... What? For fuck's sake, just say it already. We're reaching the rock levels of Stalin during promos. Okay, I hear chants for Hogan, asshole, and you screwed Brett simultaneously. That's the sin because it's hard to focus on what a majority are chanting. You screw Brett. Holy shit, dude, look, we're on camp. Oh, never mind, they cut away. Survivor Series 1997. I'll definitely give Shawn Michaels a center mover for having balls of steel on bringing up Survivor Series 1997, which to this day, we still don't know how many sins that even got due to the malfunction. Damn, with all due respect, and I hope they don't try and go after me next, the fans of Montreal were actually dumb enough to believe that Brett the Hitman Hart would actually show up on a random episode of Raw in 2005. Because I screwed Brett. And just like that, the you screwed Brett chance no longer affects Shawn Michaels because he happily admitted it. Just like when people used to call me a loser. Look how that turned out for me. Best to embrace what the people taunt you for. What? Down that! Just by this little build-up, you already know that Shawn Michaels has Bret Hart's entrance music ready to play, thus giving away his plan to troll the fans. I screwed you once, and I'll screw you again. Kinky. Bret the, the fans are too easy to fool, no doubt about that. And that's what makes the segment absolutely historic and amazing. Laughing at gullibility is so fucking satisfying. Also, Shawn Michaels is a dick. I did it to Bret Hart, I'm gonna do it to you. If you think about it, Sean actually kept his word. After watching his intentionally awful performance at SummerSlam against Hulk Hogan, you gotta admit he was right. Sean screwed Hulk in a way, so thanks for the spoiler alert. Brother! Copy Hulk infringement. What you gonna do? Shawn Michaels repeats this phrase several times because the audio technicians in the back didn't realize that it was their cue to activate Hulk Hogan's entrance music. Dumbasses. This Hulkamania sign is missing the A between Hulk and Mania. You're supposed to get it right, dude. Sean falling into the ring in absolute hysterics after fooling the audience twice was freaking awesome. Gotta suck when you fall for the same thing twice in a row. You Canucks are not the sharpest knives. Uh, wrong side of Canada, Sean. The Canucks are from Vancouver. The Canadiens are the team from Montreal. Not to worry, though. They both suck ass, so it doesn't matter if you screwed up their location. Nobody can touch me. That is the most incorrect thing I've ever heard a wrestler in a wrestling business say about himself. Run the Hitman Hart and Hulk Hogan. Even here yet. Wait, hold on a second. Are you saying that Bret Hart will actually be here tonight in Montreal? Wait, Christian, don't fall for that. He's trolling again. WWE history. Surprised that out of anything the fans have done to Sean in the last 15 minutes, the one thing they did not do until now was start the what chance. But alas, here they are. Uh, where are we going with the stripping technique? <laughs>